This video, I'll show you how to install Manim if you're using a Mac. First thing here, I'm googling how to install Manim on Mac, and I'm going to use this guide from the Manim community so that you can follow along with me. It says here, for the sake of simplicity, the following instructions assume that you have the popular package manager Homebrew installed. I do not have it installed, so I'll google for Homebrew. Here we go, it's the first link. And it says here that to install it, I can copy this and paste it into my Mac's terminal. So I'll hit this copy, open the terminal and paste it in by clicking command V on my keyboard. Once I hit enter, it'll install homebrew, which will basically let us install Manim a lot easier. And after some time, it says here, installation successful. I'll close it and I'm back here in the Manim installation guide. Then I can copy this first line, open the terminal again, paste it in with command V and hit enter. Once it installs everything, I'll go back to the guide and here it says that Macs that have M1 series chips or later, also require this installation as well. You can check which chip you have if you go to the Apple menu on the top left and click about this Mac. If it says here Apple M something, then you have the M series chip. If it says Intel, then you have an Intel chip, which means that you don't need to install this bonus thing. Since I have the M1 chip, I'll copy this and paste it in the terminal as well. Let it do its thing and finally back to the installation guide again to paste in the final command. And our Manim installation is now finished. Next I'm going to install VS Code, which is basically a program that will let us write and edit our Manim code. I'll search for VS Code on Google, click on the first link, and then choose Download Mac Universal. Once it's downloaded, I can double click on it, which will extract it from the zipped file. Then I'll go to Go and choose Applications. Then I'm going to drag Visual Studio Code into the Applications folder. This is how you install apps on macOS. And I can open it. Now before I start writing any code, inside of VS Code, we'll want to install a few extensions. You can install extensions into it just like inside of your browser to add some bonus features. So I'll press on this four square icon, which means extensions, and I'm going to look for three extensions. The first one is called Python, the second one is called Pylance, and the last one is called Manim Side View. Once I click install on all of those, I'm essentially done. And there's one bonus thing that we can install alongside Manim that will make it easier to work with animations that have text. So back here inside of the installation guide and here in the optional dependencies, I want to install Latex. It also uses Homebrew, which we already have, so I'll copy this and paste it in the terminal again. And it's installed. To make sure everything works, I'll open up VS Code and write some code to test if Manim code works and if it creates an animation. I'll leave this code in the resources so you can try it out yourself. And sure enough, if I run the code here and then click on this icon to open Manim side view, select hello, it opens up the animation that I created. So this is how you can install Manim on macOS. But chances are, if you're already installing it, you're probably going to want to learn Manim. And I've made a course about it. Since when I was learning Manim, I found that there are not that many tutorials or documentation out there that's easy to understand for complete beginners that know barely nothing about coding. So I decided to put everything I learned about Manim into a single starter pack that I hope will give you all the skills that would allow you to start writing code and experiment with it yourself to create stunning animations. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you're interested.